Hello everybody, uh, back again here for vlog a day and today is Sunday and pretty much I was outside today most of the day, had a great weather for it, the weather's just been absolutely amazing. I decided to go ahead and change the oil and sharpen my blade on my lawnmower. I was going to change the spark plug too but nobody had the size spark plug in town I needed so I went ahead and said to heck with it. In order to get to the spark plug you actually have to take the whole plastic cover in that off so it's kind of a pain in the butt but it's not undoable so definitely do that later um went ahead and it calls for 10 um or 530 oil i had 1030 oils all i had so not a big enough difference to make a deal there or not having it tipped up on its side and all that stuff getting the oil out it, of course drained a little oil into the cylinder so when i started it smoked like crazy but it did start um easy enough on the second pole it just ran crappily for a little bit until it actually finally got rid of this you know the smoke and that burnt the rest of the oil out of the cylinder the one thing I guess I never mentioned on this mower before is the the fact that it doesn't it has the safety shut off, but there's no throttle, there's no ball valve to pump up the pressure, or nothing. So it's a really it's a super simple but extremely effective mower. Got like I said, I sharpened the blade on it. There on one half of the blade it has a giant like quarter inch notch taken out of it. I don't know if I hit a, a rod or what I done, but it's a giant nick in there. I didn't bother grinding it all the way down past that because I thought it's only a quarter inch in the blade. I didn't want to take a quarter inch of the entire blade off, so I take it off both sides to keep it balanced and wasn't worth the hassle. Um, it's slightly heavy on one side, but I did the best I could do without a fancy, you know, actual balancing tool, just using a screw stuck in the end of a sawhorse and let it spin kind of thing. So we'll see what, how it does. If I notice any vibration, I kind of mow, I'll, I'll pull it off and do a little more grinding, try and get a little closer, but... The other thing I went ahead and did is I had my wife pick me up yesterday some Millamine lined, um, which is basically the white. It's double sided. This is the half inch stuff here. I cut this down. Um, these sheets actually come in 49 by 97 inch as opposed to the 48 by 96 traditional 4 by 8 sheet. So it's kind of nice because of the fact that in shipping they get the edges banged up and that. They know somebody's going to want a really clean sharp edge. So they give you the extra one inch overage for that purpose. I'm not that picky. So I went ahead and basically cut it down. Um, these are going to be my um, actual shelves for my uh, eBay storage cabinet that I built. I got not this one here. This is my actual plywood one. I have one that I built that's made out of one by four. So these are going to be the shelves. They all actually fit in there real nice and snug. They were a little bit oversized and I didn't feel like making a second cut because I only needed 48. And it's eight foot one inch and the saw blade the um, router blade only takes out a half inch so in the process of taking out that half inch I went ahead and had an over gap that I didn't really want to mess with so I decided to heck with it and went back and actually routed off the end so they all turned out they're I mean these things y'all can really see they're virtually exact same height than that so I'm good to go on there and basically all I got left to do is paint the cabinet the framing of the cabinet which is actually outside here um i'm not sure if i can get my little light to pop on and it doesn't seem to want to but anyway basically it's what it is right there there we go and it's got the framing it's all built up ready to go i just got to put a coat of paint on it and then carried inside i figure i'll put the shelving on once i get in there and it's actually tight enough fit i'm not even gonna bother putting screws in it i'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of pressure fit it in there now the very top one because there's no frame around it It'll have to be screwed down, but I'll pre-draw all those holes and all that good stuff. I'm ready to pop it on when I get there. So I'm thinking about even possibly throwing the um, pocket hole, the Craig Jig unit up on it and screwing it in from the bottom because there's not even going to be, I think like six inches above it before it hits the ceiling to actually screw down from the top. So we'll see what comes out. I just got to get my wife to clean up that room because all that stuff's like her stuff. Get that moved out of the way in that so I can start putting the shelving in there. So... Anyway, um, thanks everybody for watching. Feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. And be sure and have yourself a safe and wonderful day.